I want to plug this now. We'll come back to it later, too, but I want to start this now. Yeah. So I got to go fund me for my bachelor party. None of y'all broke motherfuckers donated. Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck is a... You're getting married? What the fuck is going on? No. All right. Well, well, welcome back to the Almost Spicy Podcast. It's been uh, it's been another minute. We've been uh, we've been out of it, but yeah, it's okay. It. We back. Lots of lots of shit happening. Uh, we got a very special guest on here today. Yo. He's in a Care Bear shirt, which I just realized he's wearing. I'm a beautiful guy. Fucking just baffled me. You you are a beautiful guy. Thanks, pimp. You are a really beautiful <laughs> guy. Welcome back to the Almost Spicy Podcast. Almost spicy. My name is Spicy. And I'm almost. Is that who it is, bro? That's who it is. Dude, I've been wondering. I'm like. We screened those guys' questions because we're interviewing him, but. And then those are your pronouns, right? Yeah. He, him? Yeah. Okay. And. Um, crazy world. So I screened his questions because we didn't want anything crazy. So that way I knew that you were going to ask us which one was almost and spicy. So you just said it before I could ask I just. You. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry it's for cool. ruining this it's so cool. far. It's supposed to be a surprise, but it's all yeah. good. What's your name? It's your boy, Sir Lucius. A.K.A. Chrome Wolf, A.K.A. Cuban Poppy, A.K.A. The Goat. The Goat. You just fix my shit, bro? I'm just trying to make sure you get the best audio. This is his fucking thing. He bro, he just nardwarred the fuck out of me. <laughs> he, he, just, he, just, he just comes here. He has this obsession. He's an end dude to the loot, dude. He's like, dude to the loot, dude. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's my funny. bad. That's funny. That's, that's actually really fucking funny. <laughs> I just want to get the best audio. I think we're, we're angled good. Yeah, we good. We're good. I think we're good, right? These, these See, that's why we lines. need headphones. I think so, yeah. Yeah, bro. That's, 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 that's the next investment. Hey, next investment. So. Hey, See how we're matter of fact, here. let's start. I got the first, I got the first part. You see how My GoFundMe, first of all. Yeah. For, did you want to plug anything? We forgot I to ask before you leave. We'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to plug this now. We'll come back to it later, too, but I want to start this now. Yeah. So I got to go fund me for my bachelor party. None of y'all broke motherfuckers donated. Whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> what the fuck is a... You're getting married? What the fuck is going on? No. What the fuck is this bachelor party? I'm a bachelor. He is a bachelor. Oh. He is a bachelor. Oh. You can't deny that he's a bachelor. I see, I see, I see. I see. Yeah. So you're a bachelor that's throwing a party. No, it may, it's bad. a bachelor party. Well, yeah, I think he had it right, though. Yeah. I think he had it right, right? Honestly, I wanted to give you guys a chance with the GoFundMe. Next, I'm going to just start asking for ask, asking my best man. That's valid. <laughs> who's, who's your best man? Let's see who has the most money, dog. <laughs> <laughs> No, the thing hey, is, got, did you guys know that though? Like the best man pays for the bachelor party. In what culture? Like American culture. Really? Yeah. I did not know I, that. I didn't fucking know that. Yeah. It's usually like the rich in-laws, right? <laughs> no, no. So like, the the wife's parents pay for the wedding. Yeah. And then the the, the husband's parents don't pay for shit because he's a man. Should have his money up by then. Fuck you, marrying pretty people, and you're broke. Word. But then you like some fuck. Where's my rich homeboy? We finna get some strippers and shit before this shit though, and he's got that. <laughs> That's your best man. So what you're saying is you're just trying to have like a night of just strippers outing like all this well, shit. You, or you like, obviously, uh, no, I want a party bus and yeah, a. You suite. didn't read the GoFundMe, Ben. You yeah. didn't do your research, but we all know that Ben does not do his research. No, it's okay. You don't have to do it now. We got him in person. It's okay. Here. It's okay. I'll, I'll talk about it. I'll get there. I'll get there. But <laughs> all that down. donated will be invited. So yeah, we'll start with that. I think we're you're getting close to a dollar on the. GoFundMe has a limit. <laughs> a lot of people try to donate a dollar. It would not let them. <laughs> See, that, and that's my issue. That's my issue with the platform. And, and you know what is crazy is GoFundMe has become the number one private uh, insurance that funds medical treatment. It is kind of crazy. That's true. So I think when somebody who you know does a GoFundMe for their broken leg or some shit, they're trying to raise like you know right. four hundred and fifty bucks, and then you come in. Asking for a grand and a half because you want to have a party. I feel like some people are like, let me just donate a dollar. But then you got to think about it. It's like, so why do you only feel the need to help out when it's sad? Why can't you just help out like some man where life's going good, you know? That I agree. It's an investment. We're all just... I shared the post before I deleted Instagram from my so phone. So do you really believe in capital? I mean, communism? If you're not going to donate to my fucking GoFundMe? I shared, I shared the post. <laughs> You know how much value? <laughs> That's some real shit. He, he just dropped some fucking facts over here. You're just going to sit there just mumbling like, what's going on? You know how many, like, stories, my, you know how many stories my views get? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> 200. 200. Oh, shit, really? 80. Fuck. Damn, that's 80. sick. That's 80 eyes. Well, 79, you're one of my views. Bro, if all the motherfuckers that like this shit donated 20 bucks, we'd be at the goal. We'd be, <laughs> we'd be at the golf course. We'd be having a party. Right. We'd be at the golf course right now. But that's crazy. No, so the GoFundMe is going good. and uh, No, it's not. Oh, no, it's not going good. I'm like, so GoFundMe's Zero good. donations. I'm just really nervous. This, this man's already like, yeah, life's fucking great for you. You're on this show, so obviously yeah, it's like, happening. Like, yeah. It's like, no, it's fucking terrible. I don't got money for this fucking party <laughs> yeah. well maybe maybe somebody clicked on this video to find out more about you or they're like going through a sir lucius kick yeah and they just can't get enough of you and they finally made it through all your music videos of which we need some more yeah we do but uh so now they get to this and maybe they want to know something about you so can we ask you a few questions uh my friend no Oh, right in that. Yeah, of course, of course. I've what? been supposed to be on this podcast for a minute. What's your what's your what's your favorite color? Color? Ooh, right now, lavender. Lavender? Ooh. Why lavender? That's a good That's the color of the year, 2023. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Damn, I yeah. like that. I like that. Hey, so tap in with lavender. You'll sell. I like that. I like that. Uh Sir Lucius, yeah, for those who don't know, my name is Francisco and me and Lucius have been friends for quite a few years. Bestie. That's Tim my plus, Tim plus your friendship. That's yeah. my Twizzy. Twizzy, we're drinking a little bit of Don Julio. Ben I'm not drinking sober. anything. My I'm cup is I'm empty. Drinking water. Yeah. I'm, I'm where's your water? water? Yeah, where is your water, you liar? It's right here. Okay. But yeah, we, uh, we got quite the history, but maybe this isn't so much about the history, but we'll get to some of the history, starting with this first question that I have for you. What is it? So, uh, you are a uh, multi-instrumentalist. No. You're not? No. Do you only play one instrument? I don't play any instruments. You don't play any instruments? No. I be making beats. You make beats? <laughs> so, is that like, you don't consider playing the keyboard? Like, like, I the, would, like at one point I would have, but like... Not the keyboard, like the piano, but like... Yeah. Like, I'm talking about the computer keyboard. I guess, bro. Well, like, is mayonnaise an instrument? Yes. That's a clip. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so you're not a, so what, what would you what would you label yourself if you had to I'm just a disruptor dog disruptor <laughs> I want to be I think I'm going to be I am Fuck I think it. you're a disruptor yeah. I think anybody who's seen you live would agree that you're a disruptor yeah I would definitely say that I think for as long as I've known Lucius like the entire time he's like he's made music that like I would say is like in its own little subgenre of mm. like hip hop and stuff like that because he's had like that hard like rap shit he's had like all that shit. and then she's done like that like Frank Ocean Drake shit mm. too it's yeah. like where it's like it, it's got like very emotional like it puts you in like a whole different space and stuff like that it's yeah. very cool so like yeah it's, I'd definitely say that disruptor for sure yeah I just like making shit really yeah. that's fire yeah that's uh that's a sign what he just said is a sign of a great artist to me someone mm. Whose evolution, you know, you can see, or someone who's so versatile. Who, yeah, you've done some like heavier stuff, and then you've done some way more chill stuff, and yeah. secret projects under yeah. a different name, and yeah. you know stuff, <laughs> stuff that you know private SoundCloud tracks and stuff. <laughs> right. like. So that goes to my first question. My real first question is: What's your personal favorite song that you've ever released? Ah, uh, released. Mm. If you have to go two, that's fine. Two songs or one song, like I don't know, because once once it's out there, I like just kind of I'm no longer attached to you're it. You're one of those guys. I'm you no don't longer claim attached it to it. Anymore. It's yeah. not that I don't even claim it anymore. Okay. Like I'll listen to like a whole project as one, and I'm like I like this project, okay. but I won't be like oh this song specifically is Isn't the, the one. favorite. Yeah, yeah like because yeah. like I don't really do singles, so I do the whole I like consume it as a whole thing when I listen to it. So oh, yeah. I'm not like, oh, fucking track four Tra yeah, on yeah. that one. Was so you're not married? You don't love specifically any one of your songs? I love them all. You love them all? Yeah. But there's not one where you're like, this is my favorite song I've ever released. Uh, no. Nah. Is there a favorite song to perform? I know everything. That shit's lit. I know everything. And uh, that's a song that's not... Well, it is released, right? On yeah, SoundCloud. it's on SoundCloud, yeah. On SoundCloud. But that's a song that a that lot of us... That came out how long ago? Was that like, what? That was... 2020? That was 2019. 2019? Yeah, it's almost the 
What, how many? Three years? years Jesus three years Christ. anniversary. Three year anniversary. I like That's released it on my birthday. Re- released it on my birthday, so I was like, because oh, uh-huh. I was just like, oh, I'm drunk all day. Fuck it. Yeah. And, and now that's just a, drop that shit. That's a song a lot of people haven't heard because it never. It's not on streaming. It's not on streaming. It's I didn't mean to put it on there Spotify. too. <laughs> yeah, well, the song is crazy because I remember when we were making it. Um, because I will disclosure, I <clears throat> wrote a line or two on that song, <laughs> and I. Uh, it was just a dope time. I, I remember it just being the one shroom. Yeah, yeah, one shroom, one like shroom. The micro micro dose. And yeah. Like, the song, I know everything, and it's kind of like big brain energy. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was just basically that bass line. We're like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a bass line. <laughs> and then just some like interesting concepts throughout the lyrics. And then you really smoothed it out. Yeah. And then there's like this keyboard solo that like <laughs> just throws me off every time. Where I'm hey, like, that's why it's not out everywhere. <laughs> can we play that? <laughs> what's, no, this? what's up with this? this? That's a painting. Oh. <laughs> there's nothing there. Will, will that song ever get released? As it is? Uh, yeah. That, that's what, it goes back to like artists being, like a lot of veteran artists will be like, you know, when it's ready, just release it. Like there's, yeah. just let it go because like, you're never going to be happy with it. You just yeah. have to pick an end point. And not going to lie, that's kind of where I've been at lately with like lyrics. I don't, with write, lyrics? I don't write shit anymore. Oh yeah, you were telling me that. Because like I stopped like writing verses. Well, I still do sometimes, mm. but the, if I'm just going to, if I start something, I like just start punching in each bar mm. and like whatever comes to me first i'm like that's it okay right, boom next one next yeah. one next one i've Nothing. seen young thug work like that yeah it's a vibe yeah, I don't yeah, lie. Yeah. like i might punch in a few different times and try different ones but like mm. where i'm like listen through it a few times i'm like nah let me try something else there boom okay but no i feel that though are you tall enough is your it like let go a little oh, are you tall enough? Job. is this in your face enough no nah, it's great yeah it's great we buy it's great. Oh, it's great. <laughs> it's all good. Do you remember the question? Yeah, I do. Okay. So, ask it again. <laughs> At what age did you start creating slash who and what made you create? So, I was... <laughs> I was in fifth grade and fucking the school I went to like gave us MacBooks okay. to like write a pen pal that worked somewhere. And like, kind of a weird concept is like, hey, little kid, email this like, adult you don't know. Jeez. But. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, 2005 was weird. Yeah. Oh, no. Or no, not 2005. It was 2007, 2008. Yeah, 2000. yeah, yeah. But. It wasn't weird. It was around the time Kid Cudi dropped Day and Night. Oh, Shit was fire. Graduation was big, in my, was big on me. Mm-hmm. But, uh. I just, like, was on garage. Like, a yeah. girl comes back to Kanye. Yeah, yeah. that early uh-huh. garage band, dude. And I like figured out how to do like auto tune. I'm like T Pain effect. How do you do it? <laughs> and I'm just too. and I'm just like weird ass drum loops. I'm like, ah. but in auto, hey, can you like edit that so that's an auto tune? <laughs> I'd be like, ah. still in his mouth when he's young. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up! Jeez, no, wake kidding. your punk ass up. <laughs> it's the dinner club. Wake your punk ass up. He really wanted to say that. Really Did you guys catch that spit in HD? We got. 4K and good lighting. So, what program were you in in fifth grade? Garage Band. You Garage said. Band. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's beautiful, man. And then was there? You said the graduation kind of. Mm. I mean that that right. No, that was graduation. No, you're like no, I didn't say that. It was 808s. 808s. Okay. 808s. And it, was that, it was that like Heartless was popping. Yeah, yeah. Was and Day time. and Night by Kid Cudi. Yeah. Said. Great time. Yeah. And Lil Wayne had little pants on. Everybody was wearing little pants. They were colorful. <laughs> it was sick. Lil Wayne had little pants it on. It was sick, bro. What a time to be alive. Dude, mm-hmm. for real. And then that's how it just started. Yeah. But then I, like, really tried it. I listened to, uh, it was a mixture of Wiz Khalifa. Oh, fuck yeah. And then Odd Future really just sent it there. <laughs> I always forget how much of an OG Wiz Khalifa is. Like, yeah. And he's oh. been so consistent. Oh, for sure. Well, yeah, that's. I, that's the thing that I love and hate about him is because yeah. he makes like the same fucking music every single like. But it, like it works like, for him. Smoke weed. That's that's yeah. a, that's, a, that's all it is. And not gonna lie, I could always yeah. tell I was inspired by him because that's why I had to stop smoking because I would just <laughs> rap about smoking. Oh, I was so close to but, weed. I mean, rapper. let's be real. <laughs> he did change it up when he had that one hit that's like with Charlie Puth. Oh uh, God. It's been without you my friend <laughs> see i don't even rec- oh. i don't respect that wiz <laughs> i don't respect or recognize Yo. charlie pluth pluth pluth, pluth? pluth. charlie pluth wiz i don't know man it's got billions <laughs> billions of views it's got billions of 
plays and streams. Oh, yeah, that's a pop ass. So song. they're not missing my mouth with my view or listen or play or whatever stream. What? <laughs> they're not missing out with me. I mean, he got that Fast and Furious check, so that's all Ooh. that matters. So is that's... that where that song is from? Yeah. Mm. If I don't see you tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's... There's too many Fast and Furious. Yeah, I said it. The, be- the last good one, Tokyo Drift. That's fucked up. <laughs> that's like the fucking second one. <laughs> <laughs> they could have stopped it there. Bow Wow. I think, I think that's like the second or third one. I can't it was remember. Bow Wow and shit, bro. No, yeah. Too Fast, Too Furious was the second one with Ludacris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, too Fast. That so that must, have, that must have been the third one. <laughs> yeah. Tokyo Drift. I actually haven't seen any of them. What? <laughs> You're not qualified to talk about Oh, yeah, this. but Tokyo Drift was fire. Not Crazy right. soundtrack. Teriyaki Boys were on that shit? Yeah. <laughs> they, they were. The, yeah. For, there's literally fucking everybody was in that. I'm almost positive, like, Nigo was, like, in yeah, there. Yeah, bro. Really? Yeah. Oh, Teriyaki Boys. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, they cause, like they had, like, Bape and shit. Yeah. Mm. yeah I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. No, yeah. that's right. Yeah. The, yeah, you were. No, you're you, right, dog. You were rapping about, um. Just a bunch of little kid stuff, maybe like pot, pot, vape, and uh, pot and vape. But like in Supreme. So we, was that? Would you, would you consider yourself a backpack rapper when you started? No. Nah. No. I was rapping about skating, and fucking vape. So what is what is a rapper? What are you? What was I it? don't know. Like a Wait, skate what? rapper? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I was just rapping. <laughs> I was just having yeah. fun. That's fun. It was a good time. Yeah, a lot of those songs are crazy, man. A lot of those old songs, but. Yeah. You, just your foundation. If and people out there who are fans, if you know, you know, like some of these uh, deeper cuts from the young mind. Yeah. <laughs> the youth, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> before all, uh, all of life. But then it, you know you still make good stuff later. But it's like it's different when you first start making stuff. Definitely. Uh, my next question: What are your thoughts on the music entertainment industry? It's an extremely vague question. Um. Yes. I don't know, man. I'm, about right. I'm not into it that deep yet. Really, I guess. I'm still just at a point where I'm just making shit. Oh, I haven't been. A, I've, I'm not getting blackballed or anything. I'm not like, man. I'm not like, damn, dude, the industry crazy. <laughs> not yet. So, like, well, okay. Better question. Are you signed to anybody? Uh, yes. What? 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 Who are you signed to? Uh, myself. Glass Home Media. Ooh. That, that's that's your own label. Yep. Tell us about that. Uh, well, it's not even like a label. It's more like a, just like it's kind of more of a platform where I could just put all my ideas at and shit. Cause yeah. I'm trying to like make movies and just like skits and all types of other yeah, shit. Yeah, for so sure. I'm like some. Oh, I could put this here, and then yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So like, do you have you like started like really like pu- pushing that out more? Because I feel like this is the first time I'm hearing about. Yeah, it. Yeah, I haven't really like <laughs> done much with it yet. Yeah. All my like songs, I like. I throw that in the fucking like if you look down on the streaming thing, you'll yeah, see yeah, glass you'll see media glass, all the time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But uh, I haven't really done and like launched it right yet because I want to make sure it like comes out right. Yeah. But glass home media, y'all. Hey, cheers to that. Cheers to that. Hey, hey, let me pour a drink. Let me pour a drink. Let me pour, <laughs> hey, I feel like drink chat. Let's get a shot. Let's get a shot. What the fuck is that? Oh, that's what they do on drink chat. <laughs> no, what is this? We got a little bit gusano rojo, red mm. worm. For those of you keeping up at what? home. And you see a little floater down there. What the fuck Wait, is that? this? You Wait, see that, that little guy? That's an actual fucking worm. What the it fuck? Is. My mom gave us this. Y'all bougie motherfuckers. Weird, bro. Some mezcal. If you know, you know. Let me try it. Fuck it. Play like, why, why, why does it have a worm in it? It's, uh... It's good luck. I don't know. It, it says protein. It's good luck. Who in, their, who in their right it's mind would eat that it's good worm? good luck. People. That that boy, that boy, fat as fuck. <laughs> it's, it's been soaking up all the lick. Bro, drunk as hell, bro. He blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> he blacked out, bro. Fuck. <laughs> right. I've got my reserve. Cheers. All right, cheers, cheers. Pour, pour one. Oh, thank you for waiting. Okay, man, let's Full do it right. Ah. Uh, <laughs> these, these people out here drinking, drinking. This. Don't don't put that fucking. No, they're not yeah, paying no, you. No one knows what this bottle is. They're not paying, bro. No one knows what this. <laughs> what about the worm drink? Are they paying us? The worm drink is. The paying. worm is paying. <laughs> the worm paid himself. <laughs> He's like, get me in there. <laughs> Let me in. He's like, shout me out, bro. Speaking of shout outs, what were you gonna say? Huh? Oh no! I was, gonna, <laughs> I was just gonna shout myself out. So we t- we told y'all that uh, me and Lucia's been friends for a while. We designed this hoodie. 
five years ago now. Four? Five? Five years. This five. is five years old, this design. Fuck the system. Original colorway was yellow. We had a great collection, general admission. If you know, you know. If you know. Little tidbit, little gem. Don't forget, today is November 1st, 2022. And we want to take a moment to say rest in peace, take off of the Migos. Our condolences. RIP take off, man. That shit got me fucked up. Rest in peace, man. Ooh. Motherfuckers. That's yeah. Gabe. He's out here. <laughs> that's Gabe. Yeah, that's Gabe calling. <laughs> Dirty, uh, yo. I got a All question right. for oh, you. Cheers, oh, bro. yeah. Wait, did we do that? Oh, cheers. it's a take, take off. RIP. Cheers. Cheers, man. Fuck, cheers, man. man. I, I am not paying attention right. Wake your punk. It's because he might be drunk. Uh. <laughs> How is that? It's not nearly as smooth as the tequila, right? This shit different, for sure. <laughs> that shit different. Dude, okay, so this is my follow up question. How do you balance your art with civilian life? What? <laughs> You're asking like he's a fucking soldier that went to war. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck's going how on? How do I balance the civilian life with the artist life? Yes. Like my regular life? Yeah, how do you balance your art and your regular life? Like, the regular life is what I mean is like, you know, we, not, we all live in, we live in a society, When I'm right? not being an artist? Yeah, or are you always being an artist? Uh, I'm just, I guess kind of. I'm always thinking of that, like ideas. That's true. So I like that. Uh, whenever I'm just doing something, I'm like, oh, put that in the back of my mind. Remember that later. But do you just, ever write it down? Yeah, but for the most part, I'm just like kind of just existing. You just kind of exist. Yeah, cause like I, I'm, I want to make shit that just feels good. I don't want to like think of it like as like a deeper meaning or not anything. Like, I don't want to be that guy who's like, they're not getting the message I'm putting out there. Because it's like... Just like this. Like, yeah. they didn't get it. <laughs> it's, all, it's going over their heads. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be that it's guy. It's going over their <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, it's just like, it's, it's hard. And I think artists can relate to this. Like, we all still have bills and we still have mm. to pay rent and uh, eat and all this. So it's like, it's just, yeah. personally, mm. for me and my experience, it's just been super challenging to like balance and focus um, mm. on creating anything when I'm drained from working eight hours in a right. day, you know? Well, just like what helps me, like, just, I just think of like, nothing's, everything's temporary. So I'm just That's like, all right, true. whatever, this is all just part of whatever I'm doing. And like... It's just part of it, right? Yeah. You just have to know that it's part of the journey. And yeah. the, they say the journey is like, the most important part like once right. you're there it's like oh okay but like you didn't just teleport there to right. the top of the mountain like unless you're an industry plant yeah <laughs> <laughs> with the smoke did I just break the third wall fourth wall no, it's a, we do it all the time yeah <laughs> we, we not, not only do right we address the it. audience and address uh, the camera we address your very hearts and souls dude America's sweetheart right here DJ back on his bullshit. <laughs> America's Tis, sweetheart, Mr. Bullshit himself. <laughs> Mr. Bullshit. <laughs> Tis I, back on my bullshit. Yeah, speaking of DJ, I was going to ask you to bring my DJ controller, but I forgot. Oh, so, shit. Next oh, week. It's, 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 yeah, it's literally sitting that's in okay. my room. That's okay. Damn. Well, that, that's, a, that's a good, I like that. I, I, and I, that's a philosophy that I share, um, is that everything's temporary. Mm. So it's like, well, you know, you have to work, so it's like you have to figure yeah. it out. So it's right. like, I guess discipline is something... Personally, I feel like I can work on like, and it's like too many distractions sometimes, you yeah. know. Like, but um, I just don't like to think about it too much. No, I don't want to like. If I'm thinking too much about the music or whatever, I'm like, nah, it doesn't feel right. But if I'm, uh, I'm just like, I rather think about what I'm doing more me, <laughs> like me personally. Mm. It's like, what am I gonna do today? Fuck it. What am I gonna eat today? Like. <laughs> I mean, those are, and like, then, those are, yeah, primary questions. Because, like, I know, like, I always find the time to do what I want to do with it, like, mm -hmm. and create. So. Yeah, I mean, the time shows up. It's, like, you yeah. just have to and It's always there. Conscious. It's yeah. there, yeah. And I'm also, like, a rise and grinder as motherfucker, too, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I always try, like, I know I put it in enough, I put in enough of the work. Where to me, where I'm like, this is enough work to put in for this for now. Now let me fucking just relax about it. Because it's like, yeah. I don't want to be drained and then start to become jaded about the shit. Definitely. Where I'm like, yo, I don't even like doing this anymore. No, because you're tired of it. And yeah. it's like, damn, I put all in all that work. And like, mm. you know, nobody's seeing it and shit. And yeah. like, it's, 
there's a total balance where like you have to still have that discipline and put in that work, but you also like yeah. the expectations. I mean, like there's and this comes to my philosophy question. I was going to ask you what your philosophy nowadays is, um, and I'll tell you one of mine nowadays. It's like understanding um, that suffering uh, is rooted in our memory because we're mm. remembering a bunch of stuff that doesn't exist right here, right now. Right. And it's like, we suffer from that. And then we also have imagination, which gives us endless possibilities and expectations. And when those aren't met, you suffer. So yeah. the only time you're not suffering is like right now. Right. So it's like, and that's like a sad guru concept that I heard recently when he was talking to Mike Tyson, decent mm. conversation. So what's your kind of philosophy nowadays just to wrap that deep talk? Uh, just kind of just do what feels good. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people are like, hey, you shouldn't do what feels good too much. Fucking. But, like, I'm just doing whatever feels good. I'm going to die someday. <laughs> well, and, the, like, that's, like, kind of an essential thing as an artist. Like, you just need to do what feels right. I, 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 you can't just, like, conform to, like, all these different ideas of, like, other people and stuff of like that. Of what an artist what, is. Uh, yeah, of what an artist is. And, or even just, like... Like, if you have fans and stuff like that, like, they have this pre-notion of, like, they think they know who you are. And yeah. It's like, no, nah, that's not true. Like, I've seen, like, the evolution evolution of you as an artist, like, mm. from the time that I've known you. And it's like, you know, I'm, I'm always surprised because you continue to, like, change shit up. Yeah. And, like, I mean, let's talk about the fact you got tattooed on your fucking leg uh, oh, an yeah. album that, that never came out. That never well, came it out. Hasn't like, come out. It hasn't come out. It's yeah. coming out. But, like, I did, I thought the tattoo would push me to finish it more. Yeah. But then I was like, man, now I got to, this got to be the hardest shit ever. It's on me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, like, but like that fucking level of, like, dedication to, like, yeah. get that is, like, totally, like, fucking beyond me. But it's cool because it's just, like, you, you put in, like, a lot of effort and you care about your craft and you care about what you're, like, creating and making and, like, putting out into the world. Mm. And it is, like, reflective of, like, the quality of your work because, like, you put out very consistently very high quality pieces of work mm. i agree appreciate you yeah of course thanks dog hell yeah that shit is high quality oh damn yeah no yeah and then the fans you know they start to expect too much and it's like you know it's bothering you when you're dropping when you're dropping all this like but that's like a problem that like a lot of us wish we had you know mm. it's like uh, hearing that like yeah. when are you dropping <laughs> no it's coming it's coming it's coming <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what I'm into is just really reflects on what I'm making. Okay. Because, yeah. like, I'm just like, man, that's sick. Yeah. Like, I get inspired by whatever I'm, like, fucking with yeah. at the time. I'm no, like, this yeah. is my shit right now. And you, you're going to be able to tell what I'm into yeah. right now. And I, that, that's like, I definitely so. still have, like, what I, like, always am in, am been influenced by that, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. in there. Like, you'll be able to see that and, like, hear that. Mm -hmm. But... But there's always new stuff. Yeah, where I'm like, oh, yeah, bro, I love that. Shit's fire. And I, I think it's really important as an artist uh, to be able to accept that we are all influenced by other uh, creations yeah. because there's no such thing really as an original thought, right? Like, any, is there anything you know? Like, like even just original fucking music anymore. Like, yeah. we're all using the same fucking chords, same right. fucking yeah. like just different instruments. Like, it's yeah, not like yeah. it's all. It was like that dude that ran the mile for the first time. Dude, that was in like the fifties. What? I'm so lost. What the fuck are we talking <laughs> Wait, about? Bro. The first time anyone was like, "I'm gonna run one mile exactly." Yeah, was in the fifties. And there, everybody was like, some, "No way!" <laughs> it, like either twenties or fifties or some shit. So then, before that, everybody was just running more than a mile or less than a mile. <laughs> they just didn't run, unless they were scared. <laughs> Good. And look at America now. Just and that dude was like, "Fuck it, I'm about to run a mile." Is that, is and that then fact? he did it. And he did it right. And then a week later, another guy did it. What? Wait, <laughs> but so no, nobody... And people who remember the dude who did it the first time's name, right? They don't? Or they, they do. do. They do. What's his who, name? Miles? I don't know. <laughs> Miles Meyer. It's Miles Teller. <laughs> it's like Miles Spicy. Miles Spicy? <laughs> Miles Spicy from my the... My God, this shit is so fucking strong. Yeah, can we pass this to Miles? You guys come from a long line of spices. Dude, that's so like... So jogging wasn't invented until like this century or like in the last 200 years? Well, hey, you can fact check me on that shit, bro. You probably should. Fact check this Cause not gonna lie, I heard that on a show. Yeah, that's, that's what <laughs> and it wasn't even like, it was like 
It wasn't even a good show. It was a great show. The fucking Winning Time. I hate the name. Winning Time. With who? It's like the Lakers show. It's about the like oh. the Lakers dynasty in the eighties. May sixth. He's right. Nineteen fifty four. That's what I'm saying, bro. The first. Roger year. Bannister became a legend in the runner's world on <laughs> Oxford University. Gave the placings in the one mile race and started to announce the winning time. Right now, there's more to this shit. Yeah, dude. What the fuck? I can't believe this shit. I don't remember how I was relating that to me. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, I think it's just funny how, like, <laughs> we're, we're living in a world where, like, information... Oh, yeah, because that's... That was an original thought, but, like, why? Somebody was like, I want to run a mile. So that's when the mile was invented? Or that's when somebody ran a mile for the first time? The first time and was like, like... This is what I'm doing. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Here it is. <laughs> so Roger Bannister was the first person to break the four-minute mile barrier. Mm. Okay. So that's like the first like world record. For a mile? For a mile. So before that, they were like, that's pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but a dude did that again a week later. He broke his record? Yeah. And so what I'm saying is that like we're living in a world that, yeah. where like You'll hear something on a podcast and then come on our podcast <laughs> and then tell us and then we're telling everybody and someone else is going to hear inception. this and then they're going to tell <laughs> their podcast friends and then like, I don't know, I like it. Speaking of what you hear on a podcast, bro, I tried DMT yesterday for the first time. Oh, we're getting into it. Okay. Shit was sick. DMT segment. <laughs> <laughs> now we're a real podcast. Yeah, we were right here. We just, we're breaking... While we, while we did give you a background that this is a musician, artist that we're talking to, Sir Lucius, the real reason he's here is because he's now a certified expert of the drug known as tuberculosis medullis. Are you just like saying fucking words? What the fuck yes. is that? Yeah. No, word. I was gonna. Say, I, I, word. I was gonna say. Yeah, we're now competing against uh, Joe Rogan. Bro, um, Rogan. We're coming Bro, for Rogan. you. We're coming for you. <laughs> so uh, how was it? I mean, you, you gave me a rundown, but Ben, do you have any questions? About DMT? You have any questions? Because I'm a kind of an expert. Yeah, yeah. So, kind of let's, so how, did you, how did you consume DMT? What, what was your, like... So, like, I vaped the shit. You vaped the and shit. And it's, like, this, like, thing called a mighty. It's a type of vaporizer. Shit was sick. You kind of, like... And you use, like, a coffee filter to, like, to catch it. Oh, anyway. word. But, like, fucking... I, it was put in there from the homie. What up? And then fucking... I just found out you could vape DMT. I didn't know this. Yeah, like, so, like, I like literally. My some of my fucking coworkers were like, "Yeah, when I was in fucking Colorado, somebody gave me a vape because uh, I was like asking, can I hit that? Right. And it hits it, and then seconds later, I realized I started seeing Jesus, and I was like, what the Yo. fuck? What the fuck was in that? And this motherfucker didn't tell me what it was until after. It was like there was DMT in that. Yo, I've been hearing about the DMT vapes as well. Like, like it's like a new thing. It's like when the Mario Karts were coming out, but it's. I hope they're not as unhealthy. The Mario Karts, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> and then, and then it's the fire. like Trump fueled rage of like we gotta get we gotta get these vapes off the street. Yeah, yeah. and the Obama runs. Obama runs. That's different. That we love fire. Obama runs. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so you to the DMT like what's what's your next question, man? So you vaped it? Yeah, yeah, I vaped it. So and it's then, like, and then and then I can just break it down for you guys. Yeah, just yeah let's just break it down. So fucking, I was chilling with them and was like, fuck it, let me just try it. And so I'm like hitting it, like I waited for it. I had to wait for it to heat up, and like it got to. 350 fucking degrees, and that means it's fucking ready to go. It's like a fucking oven. So I'm just like, just start hitting it. My God. Did I just you get start like four calls at the same time? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Popular guy, look what I say. <laughs> I fucking start hitting this shit, and I'm just like, flip that kind of leaning back. I'm like trying to fight it, but I take that last hit, and I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, it's done, it's over. And like, I saw this motherfucker right here. I gotta show you guys this guy. This fucking dude. I don't even gotta touch it. You guys gotta see this fucking dude. Show him your shirt. Show him your shirt. Show him your shirt. I had to sponsor the Coco Chanel, Sir Lucius collab. I'm coming. I'm coming up to this shit. No, no, you, the, bro, just sit back down. No, bro. I'm going up. You don't need to put I'm it right in front. I will go. I, I will put it on the fucking screen. Will you? Put him on the screen. Put him on the screen. 
Felix, Felix the cat. That's not that <laughs> Felix the cat. It'll, it'll appear. This motherfucker right yeah, here. Yeah, show him at least a little bit. This motherfucker right here. Bro, he waved at me. So you're saying that many other people have seen Felix yeah. the cat? I just looked up and I was like, fucking DMT cat, DMT cat. And yeah. I'm like, oh my God. and then they're like, Pew. this motherfucker pulled up. I'm like, it was that guy. I thought it was the rip and dip cat at first, but it was not. It was yeah. Felix. <laughs> That's crazy. And then uh, the story goes on that your uh, DMT provider friend concluded that Felix the cat is a white supremacist. Uh, yes. And that's, and that's real news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, according to this podcast, yeah, that's real news. Yeah. Damn, we just gonna fucking do that to my guy. He was so cool to me in the fucking DMT realm, and you just gonna call him a white supremacist right I here on the almost. You told me he was a white supremacist. Here first, right here on the almost spicy podcast, we're fucking gonna call him white. My friend, Felix the Cat. No, <laughs> I, I didn't call him that. I didn't call him that. Stop touching the mic. I need the best fucking audio. Are we still rolling? We're still rolling. Yeah. Okay. You gonna call my friend a white supremacist, Felix the Cat? He was so not... nice to me. What he didn't? What do you say? What do you say when you left? He's like, room? hey, maybe next time, man. Because I didn't break through. I didn't get to go in. You were in the waiting room. I was in the waiting room, but I fucking ascended. I like. I didn't like blast off like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, okay. Break, break this down for us. So, so what the fuck happened? So you smoked it. And then what? You, so, you, said, you said you saw Felix the Cat, but no, no, no. How'd we get there? How'd we get there? So yeah. check it out. Let me see this. Okay. You can get yeah, right there. All right. This is me. This is me. Wow. That's him. Okay. And, and for the record, somebody out there on Reddit is mapping out the DMT realm. <laughs> so we're donating to that GoFundMe for sure to get that realm mapped wow. out. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Not even mine. It's okay. It's okay. Bring it in. So that's, that's that. That's me, right? Mm -hmm. Check it out. This is me. This is fucking the fucking place. Okay. Right? <laughs> I'm like. We're going we're gonna to put this up. Right? The cat, he's in here. He sees me right here. Meow. Bow. He's like, bro, what up? Bring the mic to your face. He's like, what up, dog? Hey. You ain't finna make it into here mm. this time, but maybe next time. Mm -hmm. See ya. Can you hold that up? And I come right back down. Boom, I'm back here. Can you hold that up for, the, for our audience once? Damn. Can you just hold it there for a sec? Okay. So you're so, here. You went up. The cat was up here. Like he, saw, he was in here. He that's saw the me cat. coming. He was like, he saw, oh, shit. Who's this guy coming? Yeah. Hey. I don't think you... you I ain't never seen you before. You cool. Mm -hmm. Maybe next time. Peace. And you said Peace. the total experience was 7 to 20 minutes. Yeah. That's intense. It's a good time, though. That's dope. Did, yeah, you have, yeah. did you have anything else to tell us about it? I mean, I just, come right out, I just came out feeling like... You different. felt good. Yeah. Different. Yeah. Like, I don't know. My shit was fucking... Rejuvenated, kind of? Or? Yeah. My shit was cute, though. That's like dope. Slight. That's, that's dope. Honestly, man. Hey, man. Oh. That's amazing. Yeah, man. Just kind of. I don't know if I had a full experience. I don't know if I. Yeah, if you want to do it again, though. I right? want to definitely do it again. Yeah, that's dope. We'll have to like, do it with it was you. Weird. Live on the hot. So you want to like actually meet Felix this time and yeah. like actually like chill out? Like right, you, you, you go beyond the whole like just in the waiting room. Like, right. No. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Because like honestly, because I almost don't feel qualified to be speaking about this yet. That's but fuck it, I'm gonna tell y'all about my shit. It was cool. So what what happens? Do you know like the idea of what happens like beyond that waiting room? Like where do you go? Do you see like fucking Jesus? Like what? what what's I heard the... about these elves. Elves? You yeah. see elves? Joe Rogan was talking about these elves. Bro. Bro Jogan. Bro Jogan. That's where I get all my news. Is Joe Rogan on uh, and Twitter dot com? <laughs> Twitter dot com. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel about Elon buying Twitter? That shit's wild. That shit went through. It's kind of. Eh. It's kind of weird, right? I'm still tweeting I, my stuff. How, how do you feel about the $20 a month verification? But that pissed me off, I think bro. I went down to 8 though. Because I'm like, bro, then anybody could just be verified. There's yeah. no point. But <laughs> there was never a point, though. You get, you get, you get benefits with it, though. Bro, it it's was like status. Twitter. It was, I'm popping and you're not. Yeah. <laughs> now, now it's, I'm, I've got an extra $8 a month and you don't. Yeah, that's like a fucking HBO Max subscription. <laughs> it is. Bro, what? Really, hey, clip that. <laughs> there you oh, go. That's geeky. That's geeky as fuck. That's like, hey, bro, 
<laughs> Actually, that's replacing Netflix. It's like some fuck it. Netflix. Netflix is going up too high, so fuck it. I'm gonna just go get it's verified like, on Twitter. It's like ah, uh, it's like ah, <laughs> uh, shit. House of Dragons, Twitter verified. Right. Blue check. It's like yeah. exactly. Well, Maki was just saying that Twitter is like the dark web, so maybe it's gonna get to a point where you can have Twitter plus, and then you also be able to pirate House of Dragon on the eight dollar platform a month. Nah, 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 Reddit. Reddit is like the dark web. Yeah, I love Reddit. Yeah. yeah. That's where I found fucking everybody else that saw Felix. Everybody else on Reddit <laughs> saw Felix too. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. My friend. Cheers. For everyone who doesn't know, four years ago, everybody in this room was on a cross country United States tour, self booked. It was a fun time. Great Maybe a documentary time. will come out next year. Never. Maybe if I get to it. I have the clips. This guy never. said never. I'm going to also say, go ahead and say never. I have the clips. It's all over the place. That was... It's all over the place. Ooh, we, you might as well just release your stories. That's just as good, right? Yeah. I mean, it's out there. It's out there. It's, yeah. It, it, it's... No. It's literally on my Instagram page. Yeah. Like, you can flip through so the So the documentary thing. is out. Basically. <laughs> but your Instagram page is never in the description of any of these videos. That's the hmm. that's the tough reality. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what are you saying? That you never we never put your Instagram in the description of our podcast. Hey, bro, why is that, man? <laughs> the face of this one. Why are you shadow banning my bro? <laughs> <laughs> he writes the titles. Oh shit. <laughs> Why are you shadow banning I'm yourself? I'm confused what you're even saying. I'm saying that like no one knows where your Instagram is because you don't tell them. Oh. Why are you shadow ban yourself? That's I true. Love, I love this, by the way. Can we have more guests so that we can show off that we only have two mics? Sure. Hey, <laughs> I could come back. <laughs> we would love to have you back, man. But I'm not ending this now, though. No, thank We're you. We're having a good time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think. Uh, yeah, we need to. We need to have you to do more DMT, and then yeah. we need to oh, yeah. find out what the fuck is going on in that room. Yeah, what's going on with Felix, bro? Yeah. And, and the waiting room is lit. Yeah. But but bro, that shit felt like an adult white bump, supremacist. Bro. Yeah, yeah. He said it felt like Adult Swim. Like the Adult really? Swim bumps? Like the bumps. <laughs> I'm like, damn, this is fucking, damn. Lo-fi beat you can study to. I felt like old girl. I felt like old girl with the headphones going like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yo, yo. Getting back to this interview with Sir Lucius, a.k.a. Lux. Lux. FKA. Actually, FKA. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Here's a question. Why'd you drop that name? Uh, I didn't like it. Okay, <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. This is a clip. We can clip this right now. So you used to go as Luxies. Yep. And now you are Sir Lucius. And why are you Sir Lucius? My real name's Lucius, and I had had to add something because there's a band with two white girls named Lucius, and they're pretty oh. popping. And I was upset about that. The That's, girls are named Lucius. No. They're the band. The band is, but the girls aren't, right? No. They, they might be. They might be. I don't know who they are. Actually, I've been hearing about them forever because I used to Google myself as a kid. But then I was like, man, who the fuck is these two? Man. <laughs> but I listened to them recently. Pretty good shit. <laughs> right on, right on, right on. So you're now Sir Lucius. Yes. You don't plan on changing your name anytime soon? No. Work. I that's, might, all, that's all I got. I might. Not gonna lie. For real? I might drop the sir and just add an O. <laughs> just oh, spell, Lucius? Just oh, Lucius. Or spell your name wrong. Spell my name wrong. What about. Or I might just go with it. Fuck it. Can they sue me for that? No. Well, you know what? What I always recommend is like in parentheses putting like US. Like you're the US version of Lucius. They're also from the US. But it doesn't matter because they don't have the US in it. I don't want to be. You better, you better pick up an accent. You got you gotta. Like, or you can put UK. Like. Hello. But it UK. doesn't mean you actually have to be from there. Is that a good accent? That was horrible. Hello. That's disgusting <laughs> to my ear. And I'm not Hello. even wearing headphones. Advisory to Oi. headphones users. Oi. Oi, bruv. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> Oi. Toast. Beans. Toast. <laughs> beans. We Toast like, on beans. We like beans on fucking everything. <laughs> Gross. All right, speed question. <laughs> speed question. What? How much drink you got? Very light. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> Here's my question. What's your favorite part of performing, and what does it feel like to perform? I like uh, yelling. No, I just like fucking with people. 
I don't know. I feel like I could do stand up at some point, but I don't know. honestly, I think you should. I like. I would. Like, I like. Like the the little banter in between tracks where I'm just like yeah. fucking with people. I'm like, hey, dude, I, nice one, shirt. One of, one of my <laughs> one of my favorite <laughs> clips I ever have of you is like it was like in between. You weren't you weren't even like performing. It was like a fucking DJ set <laughs> for him, <laughs> and literally it was like this was in what fucking Denver. And literally nobody was there. It was like a couple people like that. Yeah, the performers were there. That one tall dude that was just screaming in the microphone. Yeah, Yeah. Razor 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 Head Fuckers. Shout out Razor Head Fuckers. Yeah, he's fucking wild. But literally you gave this whole like little banter speech before him like going into his set. It was just like, it's fucking crazy out here, man. Like we just cutting skin off our dicks. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) And, and, And you just started... And, and it's just you. You were just like, anyways. Let's turn the fuck up. <laughs> and, then, and then, and then he like jumps right into just like, just like, but that, but that, but that, like Playboy Cardi. And then I was just like, I was like sitting yeah. there like recording this, just like that's the funniest shit I've ever seen. Like, yeah, it's about it's, the. That shit is fun. It was about uh, circumcision. That's yeah, and that was like that was 2018. So yeah. That's wild, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, you know, tonight was the open mic at Acme. I would love to go next week. Oh, definitely. If you're trying to go. I would, love to, I would love to watch you sign up. I think we would all be there to support. Should I try it out? Yeah, you have to sign up by 6 p.m. Mm. So, like, you sign up and then they start at 8. It would be so dope. That would be a... Uh... For your birthday, I don't even basically. have a bit, bro. But uh, you only have three minutes. So I don't so got you a would just bit. Write a bit. You would write the bit. You got to write a bit. I ain't got no bits, bro. Dude, you, you want to see me you, bomb? You 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 just <laughs> you you literally had a bit. You just talk about cutting skin off the dicks, oh, yeah, and yeah, then you yeah. just like, and then you have him just behind, just fucking play a DJ set real quick. Yeah, yeah. Because a lot of these open micers are talking about you know relevant news, so like they're like, some, oh, you heard about Kanye? Yeah, yeah, about exactly. the Jews? Yeah, yeah. So you're, you're like, like well, I was talking about dicks back in. <laughs> Dude, you can do a lot. We're we just trying to get these dick jokes off, man. Yeah. Call it a day. Yeah, dude. No, you should. I def- we, we're encouraging you to do an open mic because I would love to see it. And all the dick jokes. Yes. And I'm glad you guys support jokes. my dick. <laughs> so you so so is that what it feels like? Got is that what it feels like to perform then to you? Uh, dick eh. jokes. Yes, dick jokes are my performance. That's what it feels like. My jokes are just my my performance is just dick jokes song, and then wrestling entrance nowadays. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> What's the feeling you get when you're Sir Lucius? <laughs> 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 I think yeah. you answered the first part of my question. Faith part of performing. I mean, I've just always been an entertainer, bro. Since yeah, I was yeah. a kid, bro. Mm-hmm. But what does it feel like? It's right. Yeah. Uh, it goes quick. I don't even know. It feels like it just, just like a twenty-minute set. It feels like three minutes, honestly. So you do you really relate fast. when people say that you kind of like black out once you hit the stage? Yeah. To an extent, Definitely. yeah. And you just kind of let yourself do what I mean you when you perform you've practiced for like time, so you know the stuff almost by muscle memory and right. it's like and also like he doesn't know it because you black out. Yeah. Kind of and it's like I don't like what the do time I know? just goes really quick and then I'm it like It goes quick, yeah. So this is like I'm just talking shit in between it and like, hey. Yeah, what's yeah. up, y'all? Fucking, Have, yeah. If over your years of performing, have you gotten more and more conscious, like as the years have gone by, like in oh, your recent performances? Definitely. Because we we just were lucky enough to catch you uh, at the Seventh Street last weekend, a Halloween weekend, and it was one of your best performances in recent time. We knew yeah. we were in for a treat because the room is very special. I don't think I've seen you perform in that room before, and like it's been a minute. For yeah, sure. yeah. I don't think I was at that that first time you played there. Bro, you DJed one of them. I did. No, yeah. not at the Seventh Street. I've never DJed for you at 7th Street. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. I don't think. I would love to. Shouts out your DJ name. DJ Pancho. I'm trying to make a comeback. Pancho. Yep. Pancho. Well, yeah, no, but yeah, I mean, it, it is kind of like a blackout, but that's, uh, it's dope that your set has gotten so crystallized. In. Yeah. How do, you, how do you feel performing? Uh, I remember I brought, you, I brought you on tour with me. Yeah, you did bring us on your headlining U.S. tour, and we'd love to do it again, or I would. When uh, when I was on uh, with the, for uh, public access. Oh yeah. We had that co-headline. Where did we go? 
Madison. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. That was fun. That was a fun time. That was a good time. Was, that was a year ago. Yeah. That's crazy. Time goes by quick. Quick as fuck. That's crazy. Time really goes by quick, man. Yeah. Um, I, I only have one more question, and then we can just do whatever. But what, what are we timing at? Sorry to check your phone. You're good. We're close to an hour, I think. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, this could go six hours. Yeah, I no, could do for this real. all day. Now, I know we weren't going to ask you this. But me and Ben together are going to ask it at the same time. Yep. 51.46. Okay. Are you when single? Why well, you... <laughs> huh? No, no. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. When's your next single? When can the fans expect your next single to drop? Yes. You heard it here first, folks. That's coming very soon. You're going to see it. No. Never. Now this might not drop no, for, no, no. for you know at least two or three weeks. So. I wanna. Ugh. You are giving me a date. No, no, no. Can, can, can the fans expect a single this year, 2022? I wanna try to drop something by the end of the year, but if it's not ready, it's not ready. Okay, so so fans <laughs> should just keep a look on your socials and yeah. and keep up to date. Yeah. Okay. Tap in. Maybe if they bother you enough, you'll give them something. Yes. Okay. So come bother this guy. Links in the description. Sir Lucius. <laughs> And let him know. If you want him to drop, let him know. <laughs> just I ain't going to acknowledge Just be an angry mob on the internet and just troll hey, all bully me. socials. <laughs> oh, bully me. Can we dox you right now? <laughs> no, no, don't. I'd be Dude. vibing. <laughs> I'd be vibing too hard. Don't dox me. Dude, that's, that's legit, man. That's legit. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, man. Uh, thanks for giving us this interview, man. Like, Is it now over? we can just lay back. No, we, we, I got a few things to bring up. Just. Uh, not pertaining to you, okay. so now we can just chat. Sick. But cheers! Thanks for letting the fans in. We've uh, cheers this same I drink know. ten times. We gotta pour up. Honestly, I gotta just finish this. With this yeah, bit. finish that shit. We're gonna take a shot and we're gonna get into some of the headlines of the day. Ben. Uh, head headlines of the day. Headlines yeah, of the day. Oh my god. There's you so guys welcome to the Danny Brown about. podcast. My bad. No, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Yo, that's just hilarious. I haven't. I want to. Yo, I've, I think I, I think I've seen like one episode, but I haven't like really like watched it. Watched it, you know. Real shit. That might be my favorite podcast right now. Cause they're that's the one where they're like in the like couches and shit. Like no 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 no. It's uh, oh, no, no. It's at the YMH studio for your mom's, your mom's house podcast. Oh, that's, what's his in name? Austin, Tom Texas. Tom oh, Segura's yeah. Tom Segura and his wife Christina Pazitsky. Okay. Really? Yeah. yeah. Fucking. Uh, what was I about to say? Yeah. That shit, uh, yeah, he was on Flagrant. I think he was talking about he might actually even do a stand-up set. Like, that'd be fucking fire. That'd be, yeah, because like... I don't know. I'd be kind of feeling like... I, I, after just, like listening to his podcast, yeah. I relate a lot to Danny Brown. He's legit. He might influence, have influenced me more than I like really thought about. Bro, I mean, just... like He was like peak rock star, especially when that... You know, I got into the XXX album later, yeah. like after it dropped or whatever, but that record is like... Pete, like it's rocking, and he's like real Midwest guy, oh, you know. Man. Yeah, it's like, yeah, like yeah. on some real Midwest guy yeah. shit, and like I like relate to that a lot. I, well, it's funny because I I feel like his like start is just so very interesting because mm. like he was kind of this like weird looking dude, like no teeth, like yeah. fucking like all that, and now yeah. he, yo he gets in, into it even more on his yeah. podcast. Like he was like with Fifty Cent and shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Was, yeah. That was, that was, was that his first like big cosign? I think. I, well, Tony, yeah, yo. Oh yeah, man. part of G Unit. Okay. Yeah, I, I was gonna say because, and then he like got with like ASAP Mob somehow to do like one train, and I think like after that yeah. he started to, like blow up and shit like that. Cause not it was before he was blowing up before that. Well, he, on that flagrant he was talking he was, like one of those like weirdos. Yeah. Yeah. He was weird. He like yeah. was like the head of, like the weirdo train. Yeah, yeah. Like, on, right at a point. Yeah, on flagrant he was talking about how actually his Minneapolis show where he got his beep, he, his he got sucked. slopped up. Yeah, that was bro like, got slopped up on stage. That was a pivotal, and I'm trying to do that shit too. That's like the shit that blew Damn him up here, cause he it was a video of what him the getting frick? hit on first half, and it was like, whoa, what the heck? Yeah, because then you set an example like for the rest of the shows. Because I'm trying to get slopped up too. City, <laughs> the frick, fuck. <laughs> this man's out here. He's just like, damn. I keep doing all these. What shows. the heck? Nobody's Nobody's doing it. Man, for me. what the gotta go frick? Harder. Hey, I got I got a headline for you to react to, man. Alex Jones ordered to pay one billion dollars after a uh, defamation court case. What do you think, man? Uh, who's that? 
and keeping your image clean. I don't even know who Alex Jones is. That's pretty good, man. <laughs> what do you think about Elon Musk speaking directly to Vladimir Putin in general in the recent in the last three months? What's that? Okay, that's pretty good. And now there's this conspiracy going around on TikTok about glitter. Bro, that shit crazy. <laughs> Yo, fucking glitter. I fucking. gotta check my screenshots. What are they doing with all that fucking glitter? Bro, they've given it to strippers. They putting it on your dude's face before they go link up with the girl. So that's like, <laughs> bro, you cheating? They go, they fucking, and it's fucked up. It's fucked up, and the government's doing it. The government is doing it. I got some. I got it's some. It's all part of the Pope's plan to actually yeah. unveil aliens to the world. The oh, fucking what, what, Pope. Can you read this meme out loud for us? Okay. Uh, so we got big banks ensure we stay in debt. Big pharma ensures we stay sick. Weapon manufacturers ensure we stay at war. Legacy media ensures we stay ignorant. Government ensures it's all legal. Voting Republican or Democrat ensures it will all continue. Boom. I don't like that meme. Meme that up. That a, or, that's, that's not even a meme. That's wait, fucking reality. Yeah, what, wait, what creates, what, is, what equals as a meme? I, it's just like my, and I deleted TikTok off my phone because I think there's a ban coming soon in the United States. But I got some good screenshots. Um, just like, <laughs> I got all these conspiracies. I feel like Kanye, because they recently interviewed him. And he pulled out some like TikTok screenshot too, like of like Jewish owners of media. And the thing about Ye right now, it's like he really could just attack the capitalism side of it. Why is you know the whole point that people are like, you don't even have to focus on the religion. You're right. There are people who are six people that own everything, but it's like it doesn't have to necessarily do with the Jewish thing. It's just a money thing. Ooh, I don't know. I want to get into this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people are saying, man. Like, he should just focus on calling out the capitalism instead of a religious aspect. No, bro, benefits too nah, much from nah, capitalism. Nah, nah, nah. He's extremely capitalist. Let, 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 me, let me just say this. Kanye should just focus on being Kanye and not stay, saying all this other shit. Like, That's for Kanye. That's I, I know. Kanye. But, but I mean, like. You talking about George Bush doesn't care about black people, Kanye? That's true. We talking about, we talking about, slavery was a choice, Kanye. I ain't even gonna talk about that with y'all, cause you know. That's facts. <laughs> Listen, man. You know. We'll, we'll move on from Ye. <laughs> you know. I got this meme, man. Have you ever looked at the U.S. dollar and then darkened, took a photo of it and then darkened it out, and then it's a fucking alien on the shit. Somebody drew that shit. That is Photoshop. <laughs> Have you ever? Wait, darkened it out. No, like you, you turn the exposure up and you see this. It's the only demon. That nigga looks scary as fuck. No, so this is the only demon that physically manifested to Aliester Crowley. Is that Mr. Money? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Money. <laughs> Yo, can we get a zoom up? <laughs> Mr. Money here. Look I'm, this I'm on the back of the bill. Look at this shit. I mean, you, like that's on the back of the dollar. Okay, real quick. Which dollar? How, how, how much alien shit do you got on your phone right now? Damn, bro. The aliens, they're here, man. Okay. You would have thought you were the dude who did DMT right now. Did I? Ever, <laughs> now, can we get this one up? The Baptism of Jesus Christ painted by author in 1710. Shit. What the hell is that thing up there in the sky? Let me see. Now, did you was your citation really author in 1710? Listen, this author. I somebody his name. drew this shit. This is in a museum. Yes, yeah, somebody drew that shit. But he had insight to like secret information is is what the source says. But, 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 but in 1710. Okay. Now this one is from 1425. Now what are you gonna say? Look at this. It's fucking a bunch of fucking. It's called Winter in Rome. Jesus Christ. I love you, God. Jesus God. <laughs> All right, maybe this one's fake news. Black presidents before Barack Obama. Thomas Jefferson, Andrew Jackson. I looked into this one. It's fake news. I'm just not even going to. The fact that you said Andrew Jackson is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Yo, where the fuck did this podcast go? Can I say fuck? On the... You can say fuck. Where the fuck did this? <laughs> I'm looking for more. I don't have... Okay, mouth breathers. Please stop breathing through your mouth. Please start breathing in through your nose. Look what happens to your face. 
Start breathing in through your nose because when you breathe in through your mouth, your shit gets all weird like this shit. Look at this shit. Don't judge, bro. I'm not judging. It's science, okay? Look how you're going to look if you breathe in through your mouth. Imagine the people that already look like that. And they I, they do, but you can fix yourself. Hold up. I just got a message from Philly Irving. Steven, no flex zone. I got an audio message. Shout out It's Fest. Shout out the gang. Shout out Donnell Rowland. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Shout bro. out. Any, any, any shout outs, man? Any shout outs? Hey. Anything you want to plug, man? I want to plug uh, me. Follow me on everything. Hello, Lucius. Yeah. Uh, Sir Lucius. Yeah. Uh, meet me in October. Oh, Coming shit. at some point. This is beautiful. It's sounding great. Love it. Oh, yeah, and fucking donate to my GoFundMe, bro. Go to his GoFundMe if it's still Y'all got me fucked up. If the feds ain't taking it down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, damn, yeah, we're, wait, we're ready for music, man. Um, oh, crowd. And then movie coming soon. Get to work. <laughs> what do you mean? It's coming. Yeah, man, as long as we're still here, man, you know, censorship and damn, all this y'all shit. y'all ain't even gonna ask me about my movie, bro. I thought you were talking about a music video. You got a movie? Because let it be known that Sir Lucius... Is a screenwriter. I consider myself. Well, I want to be a screenwriter too. So please inspire me right now. It's coming. Do, can we know anything else about your movie other than it's coming? Ninety minutes, sixty minutes, thirty minutes. Shit, three. Oh shit. <laughs> it's a three-minute movie. Yes. This is a music video. No, there's no music. There's no music. This is a silent movie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I I was not prepared to get an avant-garde film from Sir Lucius. Does, how, does the audience want to see Sir Lucius take one more shot? Hey, let's get the bottle. Hey, put the worm. Oh! oh, shit! <laughs> the worm is swimming! Oh, oh, no! You want the worm? No. Eat the worm. We need this clip. Our Instagram going crazy. This could get 10K. This might be the one. Views. Fuck it. <laughs> I think you have to have the last shot to eat the worm. So I, th I think it's not okay that the uh, government has their own portals on Twitter and Facebook when they want to take something down. They can sign into their own portals and take down anything. There was just a leak about how they are planning on controlling information on uh, social media. You know what? You're kind of an arty leftist. Arty. Hey, man, I just like to get Thanks the news the out there, man. Stay woke, <laughs> man. Shout out Russell Brand. Stay free. Shout out... Any last shout outs, Ben? Uh, shouts out to all the people. 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 That, that's all I got. Hey, shout out Gangnam. Shout out Gangnam. Shout out Maki over there. Shout out Maki over there. Yeah. Shout out uh, the person who did this. It's oh, beautiful. Oh, 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 we got to shout out uh, my boy, the worm that's swimming. Shout out the worm. Oh, hey. Shout out the worm. Hey. Yeah, man. He's hey. fucking spinning. <laughs> He's spinning. Hey, man, this has been a pleasure, man. This has been a Thanks pleasure being with you, bro. I'm sure we're going to have you again after uh, your next DMT trip, if we'd be so lucky to. I don't even know, man. What the fuck was that last shit, bro? Hey, man. People saw this, epi <laughs> people saw this episode coming, man, because we did that. Uh, we were at It's Fest, and you were live. I was. I was, bro. That shit and uh, while we only got 13 views on YouTube, we broke 1,000 on Instagram Reels. So that, uh, Hey, follow me on Instagram, at Hello Lucius. Follow me on Twitter. I'll be wilding on there. Actually, hold up. Before we fucking yeah. end this, we got to yeah, talk yeah. about Elon's Twitter a little more. A little more? What else you got to say? Because, yo, what the fuck? Going on? It don't even matter, bro. I don't see no difference. People are talking about, oh, man, you have more free speech. It's bro, like I saw somebody talk about shitting in some somebody's pussy on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it didn't get taken down. Exactly. Before this shit, it's only been like a. It's, in, it's been a weekend. No, that's what I'm saying. Before this shit, people were talking about shitting in pussies. People are acting like everything changed already. No, nah, bro. Cause like, bro, if you, that's some out of pocket shit. Yeah. So like. No, there's a lot of horrible stuff on Twitter, man. That's what I'm saying. Man. But it's I don't know. These apps are addicting, man. I, and then I don't know what's gonna change, man. We're gonna have to see. Bro, if you're, if you're talking about shitting in pussies, bro, I don't know. Which, I mean, like, can I say shitting in pussies? Yeah. Shitting in pussies. That's gross. That's gross. That's gross. Relax. But it, but it exists hey, on Twitter, hey, so hey, yeah. Hey, buddy, relax. Yeah, you, you're here. I need Dude, to. Dude, fucking. What's your, what's fucking your thoughts, what's your thoughts up, on like, aliens? Fucking. What's your thoughts on aliens? They cool. 
I think my boy Felix won. Uh, you know what? I agree with that. Right. I don't think you're a white supremacist. He's more alien than white supremacist, but y'all got him yeah. fucked up. Yeah. I, I mean, shit, you got me fucked up. That you didn't go through that fucking door. Um, I'm not even mad. I'm like, I get it. I'll yeah. be back. Back. I'll yeah. be back. They say cats might be aliens, but we also know that octopi might be aliens. Ooh. Oh, we're coming full circle here, huh? Yeah, yeah from last episode. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's some fish. Is that episode out? No. No, we're not yet. no it's not. We got to drop. I, <laughs> hey, lo, lo, long story I'm short. Like, I am not caught up. <laughs> long, long story short, my computer's been uh, fucky. Yeah. Hey, you know what's funny? Yeah. I didn't mean to get on this podcast since March when y'all dropped. Oh yeah. And but luckily I am episode five. <laughs> six. Six. Six? Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, five's yeah. not out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a whole thing. I see. Sir Lucius. See. Any last words? Donate. Go fund me. Run your hair, bro. We doing <laughs> we doing this right here? <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir. Thank you very much for coming on, man. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Thanks. That's a wrap, man. My name is Francisco. My name is Ben. I'm this Sir been, Lucius. That's Sir Lucius. This has been the Almost Spicy Podcast. Until next time, stay free, stay safe. Wait, so is this a political podcast?